Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. I am not a cowboy. No. <laughs> I don't write notes beforehand. I used to. Used to like analyze the whiskey, make 87 notes, and then I realized literally nobody cares how many notes you can get off a of whiskey. Literally nobody. Maybe two people on earth. Hey everybody, welcome back to Whiskey Central. If you're new here, my name is Shayla, and today I have a sample that I don't own a bottle of. I'm gonna nose it, taste it, give my thoughts on it in a short review format. This is Starlight Four Grain 56.9% wink. <laughs> I believe this was sent to me by Whiskey Fancies. Damn, I'm just getting so good at this, guys. I'm gonna do it blindfolded now. This bottle will run you about $60. It's non-age stated, 56.9 wink percent ABV, and the mash bill is 51% corn, 20% rye, 20% malted barley, and 9% wheat. That's about all you need to know on this biznatch. Let's go on the nose. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. So there's like a creamy caramel, creamy vanilla kind of thing from the corn and probably some of the cask, but I feel like I'm getting mostly rye on the nose. There's like, there's quite a bit of rye. If this was blind, I don't think I'd be like, this is a four grain mash bill. You know what I mean? But when you know it's a four grain, I feel like you can nose stuff and be like, oh, that's probably from the wheat. Oh, that's probably from the rye, you know? Uh, <sighs> So it's kind of hard. It, not doing this blind, you're probably like, yeah, you're full of shit. Mostly rye. I'm not getting a ton of malted barley. There's 20% malted barley in here. I don't really feel like I smell it. I do think I am getting a little bit of wheat, that kind of soft weedery nose that I sometimes get on like a maker's thing. It's a little bit fruity, like a little bit cherry. Also, there's some black pepper in here. So maybe a little bit more of that rye spice. Yeah, there's vanilla spice. And man, with it only being 9% weeder, Maybe the cream or like that soft creaminess is kind of playing as weeder. And so I'm going, oh, there's wheat in here, but maybe I can't even detect it. I don't know. It does smell super interesting though. I feel like you could take your time with this one. All right, let's go on the palate. Mm. I'm such an idiot. Literally have not had a sip of whiskey today. And the first thing I sip is 56.9% wink. Not a good idea. Oh my god, ow, my mouth. Okay, that burnt my mouth. Let's go again. Mm. Whoa, it's super sweet. The rye, I thought the, the rye was going to be much more prevalent on the palate, but it's actually pretty toned down. There's a ton of sweetness. There's a tiny little hint of a floral note, but not bad. It has a good amount of spice. From what I can tell, rye spice and barrel spice. Man, this is actually pretty approachable. It is getting a little bit more floral, which I don't love. But it's not so much floral that I'm like, this is disgusting. You can tell that it's there, but there's other things going on. It's super sweet. There's just like caramel all over the place. This is 50, almost 57%. And I keep wanting to drink it, probably to figure out what's going on, but it's kind of intriguing. I don't know, it's not, it's definitely not one note boring whiskey, but there is kind of a roundness to it. Like I feel like rye kind of can be spiky in a good way, but it can be spiky sometimes. This is much more rounded if that makes sense. Price. Is this worth the money? If you like florality in your whiskeys, I think so. It's kind of interesting. It's 60 bucks. I like that it has different things going on than like a typical rye or a typical bourbon. I don't really like the florality note, but you guys know me. I'm just not a huge floral person. That doesn't mean that this isn't a good whiskey. So have you guys tried Starlight Four Grain? Did you like it? Did you think it was worth the money? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right, that about does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this short sample review. If you did, leave it a like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you with another one of these in a couple of days. That seems not centered. I have makeup on, right? Yeah. Okay. That doesn't, nothing seems right right now. Back this up a skosh. I does not seem centered. That's not what I would call centered. Are we centered? Ah, it's a wee bit better, eh? I literally hate this seat with a fucking burning passion. <laughs> it's, oh, it's terrible. Okay. Okay, I'm back with palette cleansers. This chair is the worst. Do two takes, you know? If you have one kid, have have two, just to make sure at least one of them comes out right. And still, probably not super great odds. 